Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm not home. I am at the day's house or day's garage. Yes. <laughs> and we can see as a beautiful tractor we'll see later. It's a nice Mahindra Emax 20. It's it looks like brand new because it's brand new, eh? <laughs> yeah, <it's> brand new. <laughs> yeah, we you will see that and there's a lot of chains on that tires. You will see that. Always a project. Next project is this. This is a skid steer quick thatch. Uh, so Dave's has one in the uh, Emacs. And as you believe, I don't have any on the case. And if any of you have already worked with pin-on style bucket and forks and uh, snowplow, it's a hassle to change them. And you hurt your back, you hurt your finger. And this is the worst thing that you can uh, think of. So the project will, to, will be to fit uh, this quick attach on the case and hopefully I get the reference to uh, be able to build one myself. Uh, we will be checking the measurement on this one, the size, the height, and all the dimensions, the angles. We're going to take measure on the bucket also to uh, get some reference. And Dave is really a nice person. <laughs> Yeah, I would borrow his bucket to have a reference in my garage, yes. so I would be able to make sure that my quick attach is really uh, compatible with other uh, attachments. So thank you. And he will join me for the project yes. like that. So hopefully you will enjoy. Thanks. some spacer to put the chains on and uh, there's some good debates on, on that on YouTube actually on um, to put or not put chains on a four-wheel drive tractor <laughs> you and you know me I'm a fan of started chains yes <laughs> and me too uh, you see Joe doing uh, on the land look I friend with you a 45 degree angle and, uh, <laughs> you, you are being hot? hot? yes oh yes I am okay uh, so let's start it so as you might know, uh, Dave is almost a uh, neighbor to me, we're uh, within a mile from each other. Yes. We discovered uh, in the middle of uh, 2018 maybe yeah, that we yeah. uh, live in the same area because I have one uh, video yes. of the morning commute yes. and I, I saw his, his comment saying, well I know that road, oh, oh. <laughs> 
right. That's how we discovered that we are yeah. we're, uh, living uh, almost neighbor. Yes. So we live in a mountain, by the way. Yes. There's a lot of steep hills. Yes. So hopefully your brakes are working fine. Oh, they're working <laughs> fine, but you don't have to use it. You just use the the yeah, the just the hydrostatic. So forward and reverse. Sometimes you have to do it like very slow in the back and you know, forward. Then you control yourself. But you rarely use the brake. Yeah. Never. Good to know. Yes. Safe machine. Small story. Yes. Up to like five years ago, my brakes on the case were not working. Oh. <laughs> And your manual, <laughs> your manual clock. Yeah. Oh, never ever disengage the gear okay. if you are in a steep hill. Oh. Never ever. Oh. <laughs> or get ready to drop any employees. Yes. Yeah. But here you gotta worry, it's always engaged. So Good. Yeah. Okay, I turn the key. Okay, left. but you have to push that before. Oh, okay. the safety. Oh, it's the safety. Yes, yeah, so you just okay. uh, turn left. 10 seconds. Yeah. Hold it. Yeah, 10 seconds. 2002. And then you turn on right. Got it. Like a like car. Like
you, Dave, for letting me uh, try this nice machine. Um, it's incredible how that machine can climb on uphill, downhill, uh, uh, sideways slopes. It's really incredible. You, you really feel confident. And you might notice also the offset of the wheel. So they've got some uh, wheel spacer. It's four and a half. Is that correct? Yes, yeah? it is. Yes. Four and a half. So it can be, uh, it was able to put the chains in because it was a little bit too tight with the uh, back hole uh, frame. But now you can, and with that width, then you really feel confident on this, on that machine. Hey, we're back to my home with Dave. Yes. So we're going to move in the tractor, the case into the uh, garage. We are going first to uh, remove the smoke noir so we get some room to uh, work around. And Dave is, a, is kind of used with that kind of old tractor, so the explanation would be really quick for him. Here, here, go back. While I have the snow plow and the dirt bucket inside in the warm, I'm going to take all the measurements I need because one day or the other I have to put it back on the tractor because we are in, in winter time. But the point is that this bucket have the perfect working angle so I can curl up way much more than the uh, uh, flat position and I can dump and I yet have some strength have uh, amplitude of movement so this would be my reference to build the pivot point on the quick steer attach so first thing I check is to make sure that I don't get any interference in between the loader arms and the uh, quick steer uh, quick attach and yet I'm going also to check for the curl cylinder to make sure it doesn't hit anything also on the new. So I'm going to fully retract the cylinder to confirm that. Okay, at this point I get the back of the bucket pretty much 90 degrees from the ground and at the end of the stroke of the cylinder um, I have to make sure that I don't have anything here near to that point to strike the uh, rod end except for that I don't see I don't foresee anything wrong so you can see this line and yes I'll be marking on the loader arm this and I do have this so this is all the working angle there so it might be something like 130 degrees 
which is uh, quite good for without any parallelogram mechanism here. <laughs> okay, we cut the. Uh, Take it with it. I'm sure. 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 Ready?